Good morning, modern steaders. Yeah, it's a little chilly this morning. Brr, I want to share this with you guys. Boom. Is that coming up? Yep. Look at that nice, beautiful pink sky. That squash plant's gotten massive. That's just beautiful. We're supposed to be getting more rain today and tomorrow. So. <sighs> Morning. It's nice and chilly, huh? I actually left the dish where it was yesterday. Glad to see there's no ice this morning. Where's the white one? There you are. Morning. There's Andy. How you doing, Andy? Good morning, mister. My girls will be happy to see you. Come on, this way. Hey. This way. Come on. Did you girls stay warm? Huh? Did you stay warm last night? I don't think they've been sleeping on their bunk bed. I think with the cold weather they've been sleeping on the straw. Because it's not full of poop, so we might have to try putting some straw on their bed for them. Not in a rush to go out this morning because it's chilly. Is that your problem? Usually you're kung fu jumping down that door. Oh, you locked Buttercup behind there. Gotta work some more in your goat barn this morning, girls. Supposed to rain late this afternoon, so hopefully we can get all this done before the rain comes in. Yeah.
Nope. Your little goats can't come back here. Well, I was like, hey, that's my milking area. Why ain't I allowed in there? The walls on this shelter are at a funky angle, so I'm trying to figure out what I need for that. Watching what I'm doing, don't you? Woo. Okay, it's got to move on you. Nope. Watch out, you can't come in here. You're just getting in the way. There you go. that a little bit more <laughs> what are you doing you're asking me what am I doing huh what's all the noise you're making you girls all chewing your cud and we're making some noise I gotta do some trimming
Nice. There, we got the inside all plywooded. I moved the mineral feeder from here to there. This one's up and they ate all their kelp again. That's the mineral, they've eaten all of it twice so far. So we gotta top that off later. The back's done. What do you think, Buttercup? Is it gonna be a lot warmer in here for you now? I do want to try kind of like a whitewash, but we're going to do like a barn red wash on the inside of the plywood walls. Make it look a little bit nicer and have everything pop in here a little bit better so the goats don't blend in. How's that fresh hay? We rehomed the barred rock chickens and then we bartered six of the new egg laying chickens for about a hundred board feet of nice cherry. It's rough sawn. Gotta make sure I get it under cover before it rains out. The reason we rehomed the barred rocks is this is their third season laying eggs. So their production starts to slow down. They eat just as much grain, if not more, and you get less eggs. So for us, we want to keep the production up. So the springtime, we ended up getting the Novergins and the Easter egg layers that are in New York City. They started laying about a month ago, so it was time to rehome the barred rocks. We have plenty of meat birds in the freezer. We'd rather rehome them to somebody else. You want to go out, Pluto? Oh, I can't forget the kelp for the goats. Kelp. The kelp. Get out. You don't think Figaro wants to walk? No. Do you break his legs? No. Hey, it's the big fat one. I have the big small one that we saw. There he is. Maybe it lives in the wood pile. Sitting on the wood pile. Look at them big old fat cheeks. And that body's so small too. Oh, there he goes. Right in the wood pile. <laughs> How do you like the inside? I like it. It's a lot lighter in here now. Brightens it up, don't it? Yeah. I don't know why, but oh, they love they the some. kelp. You girls want some kelp? Is that the only thing that they eat, like, all the way through? Yep. Willow. Is that good, Willow? Is she the one eating it before? You can't tell if they've licked their salt rock yet. I don't know who's eating it, but I'm assuming it's her. The kelp? You want what's in the bucket? What's in there? Anything good? Guess she need that, huh? Hey, just because my pants are green don't mean you need to eat them. You girls haven't eaten all your apples yet? Just shut it off. Test it. Because you shut it off. <laughs> they scare you? No. Oh. What are you doing, Andy? You haven't made friends with everybody yet? And then I say, I'm done. I want to like having to catch it. Hey, you put in some new straw for me. Mom put in fresh hay. <laughs> Andy's got one friend. Yeah. Well, he should have some others.
We're going to go give the pig some hay. I'm going to go put it in there. Tote where they sleep. So if it rains tonight, they can stay warm. Mm -hmm. I hear the piggies. They want some hay? Yeah. Oh, here they come. Holy moly. Here comes Lynx. Lynx, you coming? Lynx. No. Oh. Better late than never. Hi, Figaro. You came back. They're like, ooh, I want some dick. They like eggs. Yeah, they do. Ew. Those were clean pants about a half hour ago. Man, I already changed once. Yeah, after I did the goat barn, I had a change. Well, I'm glad we were able to get the plywood all up in the barn and get it all picked up. This is where I'm going to end today's video, and I'll see you right back here in the next one at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.